Hello, Darren Alf here from BicycleTouringPro.com. With the situation in Ukraine right now, I have been producing a series of videos about my previous bicycle touring adventures in Ukraine. I've biked across Ukraine on two previous occasions, once in the winter time of 2012 and once during the Russian occupation of Crimea in 2014-2015. So in today's video, this is the fourth video from my series about Ukraine, I thought I would show you some of the photos from my 2012 bike tour across Ukraine. When I finished my bike tour, I cycled from Romania through Moldova, Transnistria, across Ukraine, spent about two weeks, 20 days or so, cycling across Ukraine during the winter, and then I finished my bike tour in the city of Lviv, Ukraine, which is in western Ukraine. Now, once I arrived there, I rented an Airbnb apartment for about two weeks, 20 days or so, and I spent that time walking around the city, a lot of that time just walking around the city, kind of looking at the city and looking at the people. And so today, I thought we'd do some people watching in Lviv, Ukraine. So here are my photos from the city of Lviv. This was a snowy day, obviously, and like I said, it was winter time when I was there, so. Um, it was pretty cold, snowy, dark, and gray, but I could still see through all of that snow and see how beautiful this place really was. Uh, one of my favorite things about Lviv is that they have this ice skating rink in the center of the city. It's right in the main square, and you can go ice skating there pretty much any day during the winter time. And I love to go over there and just watch people. It's so interesting. Um, so here are some of my photos from the ice rink. You can see this old men and young kids and mostly it was like teenagers and that sort of a thing but a lot of kids just learning to skate for the very first time. A lot of romance going on on the streets of Lviv. <laughs> and uh, I, I can't remember exactly what the price was to rent some skates but I think it was like four dollars or two dollars or something like that to rent skates and skate for an hour so pretty pretty good deal um, now i have walked just a short distance into the the main center basically there's this big like opera house and i'm kind of standing in front of this big opera house and just kind of taking sneakily taking photos of people and this guy caught me taking his photo so he's kind of looking at me it's a little blurry but he caught me here's an old woman old guys walking the streets there and one of the things I really like about Ukraine is just the way people dress and, li and like I said this is 10 years ago this was 2012 so I'm sure styles have changed a little bit but the way people dress is so different than the way people dress in so many other parts of the world so here's the big opera house and you can see these temporary structures on either side of this aisle here and those are for Christmas that were they were like Christmas market booths that had been erected. So I arrived here in Lviv just before Christmas time, um, around the beginning of December, middle of December. So that's why everyone's dressed up like it's freezing cold, because it is. Another old woman doing her groceries, shopping. Lviv is a university town too, so this girl's younger than university age, but there's quite a few young people there that come to Lviv to study various things, business and medical things and all sorts of stuff. Here are two young soldiers. Another woman just waiting for a friend or something. Old men. I like the little newsy cap, it's cool. Lots of fur, you'll see a lot of fur just to keep people warm. Furs and fake furs, real furs. Here's another fur coat. Um, I don't know what that is exactly. But again, this is kind of just in the center of the town. There's multiple centers, but this is one of the main centers. Um, again, look at this headscarf this woman is wearing, like a cheetah print or something. A uh, headscarf, cool old hat. Again, the, the colors are really unique in Ukraine, um, not just in Ukraine, but in Lviv as well. Um, 
is kind of these muted pastel colors that you'll see on a lot of people and also kind of stranger colors like you would not see maybe in America like purples and things like that like the kind of like this color you probably wouldn't see too often. Lviv has this awesome tram system where you can get around basically go anywhere in town for like a dollar on these trams and each and every one of these trams looks different so like here's one leading into the main square of the town here's another tram looks totally different here's a, a family taking a family photo um, looks like some of them are happy to be there and some of them are not uh, Look at that old taxi cab. That thing is cool. These old guys standing around. These are completely unedited photos, by the way. These are the exact colors and everything that came directly out of the camera. So I haven't edited these in any way. So there's that main opera house again. Here's some people selling flowers uh, kind of on this main sidewalk leading into town. Um, there's this big kind of district there where people sell flowers and um, I don't know, like produce and things like that, just kind of on the curb. Here's a couple taking a, this is a staged photo. They had like a professional photographer somewhere next to me probably, and they were waiting for the tram to go by in order to time their kiss perfectly, kind of wearing these traditional Ukrainian clothes. You can see the Ukrainian flags in the background and these really beautiful buildings. Here's some young, probably like university age students. Now they, they used to, in 2012 when I was there my first time in Ukraine, they had these uh, girls walking around the center of the town in these old, I don't know, Victorian sort of outfits trying to sell candy and that sort of thing. But this last time that I was in Ukraine, 2019, these girls were not there and they weren't doing this anymore. So I thought it was kind of unique though. and and you'll see I took a few photos of these girls. They have this little train which goes around downtown Lviv and kind of gives you a tour of the city. And here's a fountain, which there's a fountain on every corner of the main square, which is kind of a common thing in a lot of places in Europe, but really beautiful fountains. You can see the main square is amazing. Here's a couple, obviously, that have just been married or are about to get married and they're taking their photos. They have a photographer there on the right-hand side. There's a guy outside of a restaurant or something. Here's the uh, ice skating rink again. Like I said, this is one of my favorite places to go in town because I could just stand up on the railing there of that ice rink and kind of sit and watch people. It was really cool. Here's another woman or a young girl uh, selling candy in one of these old outfits. Old man. There's two more of these girls selling those candies. Here we are back in front of the opera house now. Um, Here's a guy selling tourist information for Lviv. Uh, a lot of tourists, you know, maybe from the West, don't think of going to Ukraine as a tourist, you know, but I really enjoyed my time as a tourist in Lviv, Ukraine. I felt perfectly safe there. People were super friendly, and and like I said, like I could just walk around and, and with my big old camera, and I felt perfectly fine. So, so again, I'm just kind of walking around, taking pictures of people. There's some more furs and kind of this like purplish color that you'll see on a lot of people. They, in the center of Lviv, they have these, uh, I forget what these are called, hot, not Hot Wheels, but anyways, whatever they're called, like a little electric cars for kids. And they had a whole bunch of them and you could rent them for super cheap and have your kids drive around the city center. Um, so it was kind of fun to watch all these little kids driving around like crazy in these cars. Here's another couple, I just happened to be standing right there when this happened, but this guy was waiting for his girlfriend with a bouquet of flowers and she showed up and boom, I got the photo. Here's a guy selling candies and balloons to some of the kids in the city center. Again, another woman with the fur coat and uh, the Ukrainian flag in the background. Older woman here trying to stay warm with a headscarf. They've still got horses and, and wagons driving around the old town, which is really cool, kind of a touristy thing to do. But um, still, when you look at the old photos from Lviv, Ukraine, you can see this was kind of the way that people got around. And here again are probably some more university students, some more people, again, like really friendly people, really friendly people. This is one of my favorite photos. 
and uh, I just like the color. Again, this like burgundy and the green with the buildings in the background. This guy looks like a, like I would cast him as the doctor in some old movie or something. Another couple. I just like this guy's beard. Photo's not in focus, but, and the head scarf right in front of the, there, that's really cool. These are, these were some old men who were just kind of gathered in the city center, and I think they were talking politics. They were really uh, into it, you know, and really engaged. Here's a guy that's kind of out of focus, but you get the idea of what they're, they're really battling each other verbally over the political ideas, whatever they're talking about. Here's the opera house again. And then there is the end of my 2012 people watching photos from Lviv, Ukraine. The other thing that I wanted to mention, which is something I've never mentioned before, is that when I was in Lviv, Ukraine in 2012, I was so inspired by the city and the people that I saw there, the colors and everything, that I actually wrote a book called Dr. Homebrew. It's a fictional book about a doctor who lives in a dystopian sort of world, a world where it's illegal to brew your own beer. And it's kind of interesting because of the situation that's going on in Ukraine right now, but this is a totally fictional book. I was just walking around the center of Lviv, Ukraine, and I had this idea for a short novel, and here it is. So um, if if you want to check it out, it's called Dr. Homebrew. It's on Amazon.com. You can buy it. Um, it's pretty short. You could probably read it in a day or two. It's only 90 pages or so. And as you can see from the cover art, the people, the colors, everything is inspired by Lviv, Ukraine. Here's the back. And if you want to check out the website, it's drhomebrew.com. You can get the book there as well. It's available as an ebook or as a paperback like this. There are posters and a whole bunch of other artwork as well. So like I said, this has absolutely nothing to do with bicycle touring or anything that I normally talk about, but I just wanted to show you that I loved Lviv, Ukraine so much that during the two short weeks that I was there, I wrote a book, created this artwork, put this entire thing together, and have never really talked about it before just because it was kind of like a side project that I did. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, I am Darren Alf from BicycleTurnPro.com. Please keep the people of Ukraine in your hearts and minds at the moment during this horrible situation that they're going through. And if you want to learn more about conducting your own bike tours, of course, be sure to visit my website at BicycleTurnPro.com and go to the contact page if you want to send me a message or ask me a question. All right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Bye-bye.